in a big hurry. Dr. Carlo is not extracted tonight. Data Dine will put him through mind conditioning. And we'll lose our best chance of finding out what Data Dine are up to. Are they all expendable? Don't joke. You have to be careful, Joanna. Code keys will only operate while the owner is alive. If you kill them, the key is useless. Our guards are a different matter, of course. What's the target location? Work your way down the building to the ground level. Dr. Cowell will be in a research lab somewhere in the underground facility. How will I recognize him? We don't have an image record, so we can't find any official files. All we have is the name. Good luck, Dr. Dark.
Huh?
Dr. Carroll, are you here? Well? Is it safe to come out? Yes, all clear. Wh what? You... Very professionally done, my dear. But there's no time to waste. We must leave immediately. Come on! I have vital information! And you must protect me!
Then, girl, you've become quite an annoyance. Good night, Miss Dark. Hardly <laughs> any bodyguards than me. Going somewhere? Something I can do for you, old woman. Return our sapient immediately! You don't know what you're doing! Yes, I do. I'm leaving. One more chance. Give it back! And you could come and work for me. Sorry, got a shoot. Get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. I also know who to talk to. Mr. Carrington. Agent Dark, mission log 1846 hours. Last night, we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A Datadyne team have taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast. And they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the Datadyne hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Datadyne squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line.
gotta stop them before they get to our fire. Stop before I rescue Daniel. your age, Joanna. Sir, are you injured? No, Joanna, I'm okay. But those Datadyne thugs made me tell them where I'd hidden Dr. Carroll. Only I'd held out for a few minutes more. It's not your fault, sir. I should have been quicker. Don't blame yourself, Joanna. Dr. Carroll told me that he expected this to happen. Actually, when they recaptured him, the Datadyne team got overconfident and let slip a few facts when they thought I was unconscious. They mentioned a meeting in the G5 building in Chicago, Illinois tonight. I want you to be there, but that doesn't leave you a lot of time to get ready. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did, and I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks I'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Datadyne. We suspect the G5 Corporation is just a front for Datadyne and whoever else is involved in this one. I know Cassandra de Vries is going to be here. I need to know who else is attending and what they discuss. By the time you get out, the help I requested should have arrived. Just who is this help you keep referring to? Not now, Joanna. Time for radio silence. Good luck. Thanks a lot.
We've recovered the sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? The President turned down your request for the loan of the Pelagic II. Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go, and we will move as soon as the Presidential Honorage arrives at the airbase. All I need from the President is a tissue sample. <laughs> Assuming you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully operational. We can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. Consider that as you follow your backup plans. We've got a combat! <coughs> Safe's heavily encrypted. The decoders can be Antenna alert! All security to the vault!
Support team to protect the president of Radio Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The craft carrying those planes I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was fired from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will be taken. You have to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Carrington out. Area 51? But what about the president? Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51 was able to get this out to us. This is your entry point, a deserted helipad on the edge of the base. The lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall. Watch out for these guards. Here is the communications antenna. Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. Again, watch out for hostiles. God! Here is our friend. He appears to be physically unhurt, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with their preliminary tests and will begin dissection soon. But who was... Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Agent Dark, mission log, 1028 hours. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. Yeah.
got a clear shot. to wonder if... if... If what? If you've been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay. Forget about it. I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. The problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? In that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. It may go against your nature, but try sneaking through rather than blasting everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shot. Great. Now if I can just fight the urge to report him to base security.
Get the hell out of here!
away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor. And turn that laser off. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is supposed to be a sealed room. Don't you know anything about autopsy procedures? I don't care much for procedures. Director Easton will hear about this young lady. You can't take that! It's government property! This is intolerable. It's, it's unprofessional. Let's see how that overconfident thief deals with our gas defense system. She'll think twice before messing with me again. What's that noise? Can't be. Gas! No! That wasn't meant to happen! You idiot! We'd better get out of here. Joanna, this is Jonathan. You're in grave danger. They flooded the area with nerve gas. Get our friends to the containment lab. There's a hiding place there. I'll contact you when you get there. Good luck. Steve. Before he gets into any more trouble. That smell. It's not that in the other hangers. to our friend.
I'm alive. I thought I'd be chopped up like the others by now. You're from the Institute, aren't you? I recognize you from before. You helped me. Thank you. You... you speak our language? Watch her, she's sharp. What's wrong? I have a headache. And with a head this big, that's no joke. Can you walk? We must leave before they get organized on Hunter's Down. I think so. What's your name? I'm Agent Dark. Or Joanna, if you'd prefer. Well, Joanna, I'm Protector One. But you can call me Elvis. Be a way out of here. I'll get out on that hover bike. Now cover me while I open the doors. Probably innocent of any involvement in Trent's little scheme. They can't shoot them, even if they shoot at me. What about the NSA agents? I don't know how far the conspiracy has spread through the NSA, but I'm willing to bet that the men Trent has around him here are loyal to him and his plan. You have to get the evidence of Trent's betrayal onto Air Force One and show it to the President. Yes, and protect him from his abductors. Do you have any idea what Trent's plan might be yet? What about those blonde guys? Only vague suspicions, and I won't distract you with those. Good luck, Callington out. Stop. <laughs> Trigger the alarm! Case to conceal your equipment. 
Ja. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. Hi. you thought any more about that proposal I gave you, sir? My answer remains the same. I'm sorry, Trent, but no. I won't loan the Pelagic 2 to Datadyne. Now please, can we move on to other matters? But this is a golden opportunity to show that America has faith in its industries and will back them. Damn it, man. I say no, and I mean no. I'm not going to change my mind on this. I need my advisors to be unbiased. And recently you've not been giving me the impartiality I require. Let it go, and we'll say no more. This is your last chance. As you wish, sir. My last chance? <laughs> you fool. That was yours.
Who are you, young lady? Mr. President, you're in danger. Trent is trying to kidnap you. You can't make accusations like that without evidence. I assume that you have some. This is a recording of a meeting between Trent and the other conspirators. It seems overwhelming. I'm in your hands. What do we do now? Can you take it out? It's okay, Joanna. What's this? Uh-oh. Watch what? Will you stop playing around and shoot? Out of options. Joanna, brace yourself for impact. in. Agent Dark, please reply. Something's jamming my transmissions. It's coming from that other craft. I'd better find the jamming device and check that Elvis is okay. Not forgetting the president, of course.
see them now. Today, I think, will take a while for me to get over. I can't believe Easton would do such a thing. I knew he was ambitious, yes, but this... Just one thing, sir. What is the Pelagic II that Trent wanted so badly? It's a U.S. government deep-sea research vessel. One of a kind. The only ship that can conduct a full-scale diving operation at extreme depth. Trent wanted me to loan it to the Datadine Corporation, but I refused. Trent has a lot to answer for, but I don't think we'll find him now. You have failed, Easton. You are a flawed device, and we need you no longer. Just try it, you Scandinavian freak! Oh, my God. 
Yes. Yeah. Well, one dog station. Oh. Pull the plug on that. Now. Please, to, don't hurt me. Switch this thing off. Oh, oh shit. They'll be unable to conduct operations without any power. operation has been disrupted on the surface. Time for a swim. I hope the government don't want to use this ship anytime huh? soon. Do you think we were a little heavy-handed? No. Uh. Seem normal. No one's around. No signs of conflict. No spent ammo cases or bullet holes. But there ought to be a rear guard at least. It makes no sense. There has to be someone further inside. Cover me.
Datadyne haven't done anything to prevent this. Virus detected. Me and my big mouth. Commencing countermeasures. Commence. Dr. Carol? Are you in control again? Can you stop the program? Yes, I'm back again, my dear. 
but the program has run far too long for me to prevent it from completing. But there's only one way out now. What do you mean? When the program has run, I will have control of a vastly powerful weapon. It cannot be allowed to exist, so I must destroy the Cetan, and unfortunately, myself along with it. I'm sorry, Joanna. There is no other way. I have no time to discuss this. Go now! Avoid the skedar and you will have time to escape. It has been an honor to work with you. Goodbye, Joanna Dog. We have to get out of here! John, we can't keep the main delegation waiting. Or the president, of course. Am I ready? What do you mean? I was ready half an hour ago. It was you holding us up. But you know how it is, Joanna. I had to make sure my hair was just right. And then there was the suit. They should keep you away from mirrors. Nervous? Very. I've waited for this moment for so many years. Contact. Friendly contact between humans and men's is what the Institute was founded for. And in a few minutes we'll be at the White House, and it will finally happen. Where did that come from? It was up on ground level. Hey! Looks like someone doesn't know when to quit. We've got to get everyone out. Auto defenses will really help me out.
me later. I hope you can. To not be where I think I am. And it's worse than that, my dear. Just look who you've got for company. You? I thought you'd managed to escape. We found no trace of you at all. You couldn't find me, but there was no hiding from the Skedar, as you and Mr. Carrington just discovered. This is it. Wait there. I'll make a distraction. It will give you a chance to get out. Use it, or we'll both die. Why are you doing this, Cassandra? The Skedar used me, Joanna. You were my best chance for revenge. Thank <laughs> you. 
you go on ahead, Joe. I'll secure the perimeter. We'll meet up later. We control the bridge, and the ship is ours. <laughs> seen another planet from space. It's beautiful. Hmm? I don't... I don't believe it! Elvis? What is it? Where are you going? We have to get down to the surface! Follow me! Fanatic's most holy place. They believe this planet is sacred ground. The battle shrine is located at the most holy part of this holy planet. So let me get this straight. It's holy. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Yes. In all of the time that we Mayans fought the Skidar, we never found this place. We knew that if Turret was destroyed, the war would never be over. We fought the Skidar to a standstill. We earned a ceasefire, but we always had to be on our guard. The destruction of this place would mean a chance for peace. Then we have to be certain that no fanatics survive. I'll go in and take out the You'll have to summon the Mayan fleet to level the shrine. If you're caught on the ground when the fleet gets you, you won't stand a chance. That's a mistake I don't intend to make.
Okay. This is it. one hadn't grabbed my foot. Of course, Joanna, of course. No, I would have. I believe you.
My gun!
Grab a body bag. Oh, <laughs>